Hello everyone. Here we are for another nice little practice. I'll explain you a little bit what we're going to do today. Um, I've been nursing some back issues, so this practice we're really going to focus on how to release back pain and um, how to become stronger in your back and also to be well to stretch the back out well let's uh, start straight away uh, sometimes there will be a little cat running around i have two little baby cats since two weeks and uh, well there they are they will be racing around so let's take our seat and really find your mat and find your center really trying to find really what you are here for today so we're going to do that today in a little different way we're going to place our left hand on the heart space and the right hand on top and starting to close our eyes and while you're closing your eyes start to feel your sitting bones really feeling your sitting bones you are, might be sitting on a block on a pillow or something which will lift your hips so that your hip bones are higher than your knees and really press your left hand on your energetic heart space in between on the breastbone and maybe even push your sternum a little bit higher and bring roll your navel up your spine you're sitting in a taller seat roll your shoulders up and back and then relax your shoulders relax your elbows and also relax your navel, but still bring your diaphragm and your sternum up and then close your eyes and start to feel where you are in this very special place, in this special moment just for you and following your breath. Really make it an observation, the inhalation through the nose and the exhalation through the nose. Very quiet with the inhalation, your belly is filling up and with the exhalation your navel goes back to spine. And really in this moment start to ground down to right on your mat and to arrive in your space. Now while you're breathing, starting to set an intention where what you want to work on, where you're feeling something which you want to let go of. And more and more feeling your breast bone rising and falling. Stay here for five more deep breaths. Your sitting bones are heavy and going down towards the earth. And your heart going up to the sky, looking for light, feeling light with every breath. And the last two breaths. While your eyes are still closed, we're going to separate the hands away, like you're opening your arms to the side, really opening your heart all the way up to the sky and making a soft back bend. From strong hips, you're opening your sternum up to the sky and curling your head to the back. And then from here, inhale and exhale, and it's like hugging yourself round your back. Now let's do five more of those. Inhale, opening your arms wide to the side. Back bend. Concave, and then exhale round your back. So you're really feeling that your spine is going to snake out 
opening your sternum and your heart up to the sky and exhale round it back like a cat inhale opening your heart open your shoulders back your hand pulls are open up to the sky and exhale rounding your back in two more inhale all the way open to the sky opening up your arms opening up your fingers exhaling in last one opening your arms wide and wide and wide and wide and exhale rounding your spine stay round hugging yourself and with your next inhale come back to a neutral position now changing the cross of your legs always with me when I cross the other way around I always find the easy way in the beginning so this is a little bit awkward so I really have to find my seat again maybe take the flesh away from the bum so you have a little bit more space in the back now let's roll our shoulders a little bit open to the back big 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 circles maybe opening your arms also a little bit to the side yeah let's do that so we work the arms also a little bit really big circles and just making them bigger like the wings of a beautiful bird mm imagine yourself flying two more circles to the back and the last one and now change direction now stretch those arms out so lock them and make big circles to the front let's put cats and balls a little bit to the side big circles wide circles Keep your navel to spine, keep your sternum lifted, so grow out of your hip bones. Make your upper body long. Two more big circles. Oh my God, I'm gonna be covered by cats. And come back to center. Right, okay. So let's put the feet to the front. Let's do a little twist. Now we're going to bring the left foot in and the left knee down. The right foot stays in front. I'm not mirroring you, so you really have to listen to left and right. Bring your left arm all the way up to the sky and hook it beside the right knee we're not going to go very deep i want you to keep your hips in the same center so your right hip wants to push a little bit forward while you lift up your right arm and very gentle start to twist to the right side maybe you can hook that left arm a little bit more but don't move your hips your hips stay centered you're twisting from your upper body from your upper back and very softly looking to the side you don't even have to twist your neck to the back if that is not available for you if it is just a very soft look now make sure that your right shoulder is pushed down but relax five more breaths here navel to spine sternum up press that right foot into the floor ground that foot down And the last two breaths. Now inhale, sweep both of your arms all the way up, all the way up. Hook your thumbs and stretch your side body out. Leave that right foot just where it is, it's fine. Just stretch the body out. Mm, it feels good. And release the hands and change your foot. Oh my god, this is going to be a cat yoga. Uh-huh. Okay, other side. Lift that right arm up and hook it on the outside of your left thigh. Just a soft hook. Now we're going to get into the twist while lifting that left arm up and gently going to the back. 
Now here, stick with your hips looking forward. Hook a little bit more. Lift out from your sternum, navel to spine, and very gently twist from your upper body. And now again, be gentle with your neck. This is the first twist of the practice. If you want to go a little bit too deeper, then elongate that spine and twist a little bit more. Soft gaze to the back. Your left shoulder is down and breathe. Last two breaths here. Now inhaling and bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Hook your thumbs the other way and stretch the side body. Stretch it out. Bring those arms all the way up to the sky and open your armpits. Bring those shoulders, the shoulder blades to the back. Push into this left foot down and breathe two more breaths here and release the arms and bringing gently your foot soles together now you can stay on your blanket or on your pillow i prefer to have a little bit of height to create more space in the back now hold on to your ankles in the front. Now again, if you feel that you're rounding, if you're feeling that you're rounding, that you're really slumping into the lower back, roll your, roll the pelvis, roll the pelvis down so that you're lengthening, make that back long. So maybe, Maybe you can't even reach your ankles. That's so that's fine. So you stay here. If you're really this tendency of having a round back, stay here. And then from here, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. So you really feel this lengthening, this, this, um, this pelvis up to navel and navel diaphragm up to stern. So we're lengthening up and very gentle starting to go forward. Now the cat is on the video. Hey! Psst, 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 psst. Uh oh. So leave your hands here on your ankles and very gently start to come forward with a straight back. Now bring your hands forward to support your back. So don't go too far. If you are here, that is fine. And breathe. Open your hand forward. And breathe. The moment that you feel a pinch in your lower back, you just go back. So that was a little bit too far for me. Press the foot soles together. Press them together. And breathe a soft breath just feeling your hips opening gently walking your hands back helping your knees up and together and just hug your knees and now round your back Now very gently, we're going to come up on our hands and knees. So I love to put something under my knees. Oh my God, is this a serious yoga practice with all these cats around? Okay, let's see. <laughs> right. So make sure that your hands are under your shoulders knees under the hips and let's start with some just common cat cows which is absolutely the best thing you can do for your back so inhale 
concave back. So really open up the sitting bones in the back. So you're releasing the sacrum, opening it up. And exhale, rounding your back. Inhale, forward, concave, opening the chest. Try to bring the chest forward. And exhale. Five more. Inhale forward. And exhale, round it back. Inhale, concave. Exhale, tailbone in. Round your upper back. Inhale forward. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, concave, opening up the chest. And exhale, round the back. Now keep your back rounded. Come on your fingertips, tuck your toes under. And with a rounded back, you're gonna push halfway back and just hang and hover with your buttocks above your heels and stretch those arms out and really round that back, round, round, round. Now we're going to come from here in a little flow. So bring those hands a little bit more forward. So you're stretching and stretching out. Now you're coming up with a rounded back and come a little bit forward, flattening those toes in a soft, like a cobra, but with very stretched arms. If you're feeling your lower back, just pop the navel more. Bring that navel up to spine. Now inhale, start to round your back, tucking those toes under, round, 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 and hover back and stretch those arms to the front. Maybe your buttocks can go a little bit more back. Now inhale with a rounded back, you come up, flattening your hands, flattening your toes, opening your chest to the front. Don't collapse in the lumbar, so your navel is to spine. And inhale, start to round the back, round, round, round. Stretch those arms in front of you all the way into a nearly, nearly child pose, but a very active child pose. This is an active and stay. And now inhale, very super, 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 super slow. Round it back, navel to spine, flatten your toes, flatten the hands, bring the chest forward. This is a soft back bend, which is very healthy. Just make sure that your arms are strong. Inhale, navel to spine, start to round your back, tucking the toes under. And now we're going to stay back, bring the buttocks towards the heels and your head on the floor. Bring your hands up, so cup your hands, come on your fingertips. Stretch those arms forward, lifting those elbows, so this is very active and breathe hang in there because i think it's a quite funny vision with all those cats around here but that was not really my intention i had no idea they would come but keep on breathing so i have to keep my concentration and i don't mind the cats two more breaths here Stretching those arms forward. Now flatten the hands. Inhale, round that back. And come up. Rocking your hands gently backwards. And come and sit on your toes. That can be challenging to sit on the toes, but let's do it. Let's exercise those toes a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of my hair away. So let's come into another backbend. Let's catch away. 
Yeah, put them in there. Grab a block or a book or something you, you or a hard pillow, something which you can really squeeze between your legs. Bring your hands on your hips. I think I had a little nail in my lip. Oh my god. So let's bring the hands on the hips. Your thumbs here, do you have ni these nice little this nice little curve there in the back. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go a little bit backwards in camel pose, but what I want you to first learn is really to have these thighs and hips pushing forward because we're not going to bend back from the back. We're going to bend from the thighs and we're going to curve from the upper back. So that is very, very important. So lengthen first. And then what we will, one hand under the buttocks and then the other hand under the buttocks. So really hold the buttocks. And from there, we're going to bring the shoulders back and come into a soft back bend. So now if you like to let go of your head, I don't like that, it's not good for my neck, then please do so. Push those thighs forward. And breathe. Let's stay here for another three breaths. So it's again navel to spine. And gently come up. Now sit back for a moment to release the spine. Bringing your head forward. Four, forehead to the ground. And breathe another three breaths before we coming up again and we go a little bit deeper. Inhale and coming up. Keep that block here. It will make you, it will remind you to use your thighs. We're going to go a little bit deeper. So really squeeze that block between your thighs. It will activate your core. Totally, it will protect your lower back. Now, if you can, bring the right hand up and touch the heels. Left hand up and touch the heels. Push, push your navel forward. Squeeze that block, squeeze the block. Opening up your heart towards the sky. And soft back hand. I'm gonna stay here for another three breaths. Last breath here, chin to chest, and very gently, with squeezing the block, come forward, sit back, maybe you want to flatten your feet and stretch your back out in a child pose. the last breath here now inhale and start to round your back push yourself up with your thighs and for the last time now if you can't reach your heels you can also put something here to make it higher there we go again lifting up right arms going back and the left one and going back now squeeze start to squeeze the block squeeze the block hips go forward activate that core and now open up your heart towards the sky lift out from the sternum push your hips forward hmm. three more breaths squeeze that block you will feel that you your, your lumbar, your lower back is protected. Last two breaths. Mm. 
Now lifting up your head, chin towards chest, and start to sit back, releasing the block, releasing the pillow if you have one on your heels, flattening your feet, and sit all the way back, or child pose. Head on the floor, three breaths here. And then afterwards, we're going to make a little flow of this. Last breath. Walking your hands back. Coming up. And I will show you from the front. It is one really to release all the tension from, from the back. And the base is the camel pose again. So it's, it's just you have to listen very well to left and right where are we going. So I'm going to lift up my right arm. I'm going back to my right heel and sit back. I'm going to sweep my left arm from the right side over to the left lifting up right arm and my left hand is on my left heel now my right hand goes down sweep it to the front over to the back holding on on my right heel lifting up that arm and coming into a back bend flow down with that left hand in front of you sweep the right hand in front of you and come up with an inhale and now exhale down, right hand down, find your right heel and left hand comes up and you come into your back bend. Exhale, one more to the left, lifting up that right arm and open up your heart to the sky, coming down with your right hand, finding your right heel and coming up to the left hand up to the sky we're going to stay here for a couple of breaths opening everything up maybe you can bend a little bit more to the back but squeezing your imaginary block between your thighs three more breaths here Now inhale and exhale, sweep down, bring that right hand to the front, bring it up and up and up and up and up and up to the left. Your right hand is over to the left. Hold your heel or your pillow, maybe you have heightened, and push those hips forward. Stay stable and symmetric. Two more breaths here. And sweep down. Walking your hands forward. Stretching that back out. Buttocks to the back. Forehead to the floor. And breathe. Walking your hands back beside your hips, pushing yourself up. And we're going to lay down. So let me explain. It's very important for really lower back release is hamstrings. Hamstrings, they have to be very open. So what we're going to do, um, I hope you have a scarf or a strap near. I'm going to lay down so make sure that your feet are nicely in front of the mat having your strap I like to make a loop of my strap so I can hang it over like this and I can hold my hands through the loop so I can have a better grab on it so very gently we're going to come back and back using the core so important using the core navel to spine very gently 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 come back and lay down
stretching your legs to the front, bringing both of your hands beside your body and let's point and flex and point and flex the feet just a couple of times to opening up the hamstring a little bit to prepare. Now bring your right knee towards your chest. Let's bring a couple of circles with this knee. Couple of circles clockwise. And three circles anti-clockwise. Let's change leg, left side. Three circles clockwise. And three circles anti-clockwise. Can you feel the femur bone moving in its socket? Right, left leg down. Now get a hold of your strap. And there's many different teachings. Some teachers put it on the ball of the foot. It has a different function. When we put it on the ball of the foot, we are not really diving so deep in the bone of the leg. So I like it more closer to the heel because I really want to feel that my hip is, is that my hip is feeling the femur bone coming in. So we're not going to push this leg too much to the front. We're going to first keep it in a 90 degree up. We're rolling this thigh a little bit out and to the back. So this, this is what we do with, with the thumb here and roll it a little bit back. Hold on to the strap and start to push the heel into the strap, push it upwards. And with your arms, they're wide, your elbows are wide, your shoulders are really into the ground. You're pushing your leg back. So now, if you are very flexible and you have very flexible knees, you might overstretch what I can do. So keep a micro bend. If you're very stiff, you have tight hamstrings and you're here, well then you have more work to do. You really have to try to really push those hamstrings open. I have to be careful and keep a micro bend and really strengthen the muscles around the knee. So the knee muscles, the kneecap muscles, activate them. Let's stay here for another 10 breaths. Really, really keep that leg up and breathe inside there. So you're also using your arms with pushing your foot, your leg, your bone into the hip. Your belly muscles are really relaxed. Another five breath here. Really feel what is going on inside of that leg. Don't forget to activate that left leg so you the really the muscles around your kneecap they are activated as well they're pushed up so the last breath here and now bring both of the straps in your right hand make sure that there is space on your right side i'm going to open the leg to the right so hold your strap tight if you don't have a loop you can also make a circle around your hand 
Now bring your left hand on your left hip because your left hip wants to go up. We're going to push it really down. It's really, again, navel to spine and pressing the sacrum into the floor. So push that hand down and very gently, very gently, very, very controlled with the activation of the muscles around your right hip and your right knee. We're going to lower that right leg down. Your right elbow wants to be on the floor to support the right foot. If we really have our, we come to the point that we have a lot of core strength, we can even leave that leg floating up in the sky without holding on to the strap. Now, that foot wants to turn up, keep it parallel with the floor, the right foot press that left leg down you will feel how your whole core will be activated and that your lower back is pushing back on the floor this is your stabili stability of your back so let's breathe inside now if you can you can twist your head and look over your left shoulder now press keep on pressing that left leg down keep on pressing it down hold on to that right leg hold on to that right hip maybe it starts to tremble that's good it's working you're going to stay here for another five breaths make sure that both of your shoulders are free and open my leg starts to tremble here that's good squeeze those knee, nos knee muscles up So we protect the knees like that. We make strong, strong knees. The last two breaths. Oh my God, those cats. This is the first time in the last time with them around. Okay, with your first coming available in breath, bring your head straight and lift that right leg up for a couple of breaths. Keep it straight up and bring it a little bit closer now. Bring your leg a little bit closer, opening really the hamstrings a little bit more. And keep on breathing in there. So keep on breathing the back of your leg. Just stay here for another four breaths. Push that heel up. Activate your left leg down. Last breath here. Now bring both of the straps in your left hand. Bring your right hand all the way to the side of your right side. Don't bring the arm up, but leave it in the same height or a little bit lower than your shoulder. I want you to bring this right leg over to the left. Very gently, very slowly. What we want to feel is this big muscle in the back of your buttocks. So maybe you start to feel it already. I feel it very deep because this is my little problem side on the right sciatica. So I'm supporting this leg. I have my left elbow on the floor. Now your left foot, you can also let it turn to the left, let it point and go a little bit deeper if that is okay for you. You don't have to touch the floor and maybe it's even better not to touch it. So keep that foot also parallel. Activate everything. Lift up that left shoulder so you're flat on the floor with your shoulders. And now maybe, maybe you have the availability to turn your head to the right for a nice neck stretch. Five more breaths here. Really breathe into that right buttock. Stretch that hamstring out. And last two breaths here. Bring your head to the center. You might 
want to help your leg with your right hand and lift it up release the strap and bring your right knee into the chest really press it into the chest and maybe you can bring your knee beside your chest towards your armpit flex and point and flex and point both feet flex and point And release and shake. I'm going to do the whole cycle on the other side. Oh no, now we have a dog. Yuka, get out. Up. Again, bring it right leg, push it down. Push with your heel inside of the strap, opening your shoulders to the side. Make sure that your shoulders are on the floor micro bend in your knee if you're over flexible and push your knee back if you're very tight in your hamstring activate that right leg activate the muscles of your left leg and push that leg down into the hip really feel the hip socket filled up with your femur bone and keep on breathing here with that heel into the strap. Bring that leg just a tiny little bit more forward, but not too much. We really want to open first in a gentle way the back of your leg, opening your shoulders and really use your biceps, really use those arms to bring it back. And stay here for another four breaths. Don't forget that right leg. Keep those knee, mu knee muscles activated. Last breath here, so don't release that right leg. No, activate it even more. When you bring the straps in your left hand, right hand, best to the hip to remind it, to push it down. Now very gently, you're going to let that leg go to the left. So use those muscles around your hips. It's Pulling up and pushing down with that leg. And go down very gently and controlled. Bring that elbow down to support you. Now it's really about your navel to spine, pressing the back into the floor, into the ground. Keep your foot parallel. Hmm. So check if you have the strength to slacken the strap. If you can't yet, hold on and help. Push that hip down on the right side. Breathe into the core. And now if you have the availability with your neck, look over to the right side. And breathe. If you feel the strength, you have enough strength, you can release the hand, the right hand to the right side. If not, keep it on your right hip to remember the muscles to really work and press that right leg down. Pressing the right leg down is helping your left leg hover above the floor. Now my left leg starts to tremble, which is absolutely great. There's a lot of work going on there. We're going to stick there for another three breaths. Now gently bring your head to the center, help that leg up, realign, and let's bring the leg a little bit more to the front before we go over to the other side. Press against the strap, bring both straps into the right hand. And now maybe you want to put your thumb here in your hip 
freeze where your thigh meets the hip and let's bring this leg over so you see my whole hip is moving also and my right foot is also going to point to the right my right elbow is on the floor my left foot is level with the floor so now my foot is not pointing down you can't really see it now but just listen to the instruction your left leg is totally totally super straight your left foot is level with the floor now bring this left arm out your right foot is pointing to the right and maybe you gently can turn your head over to the left lift your right shoulder up a little bit so your both of your shoulders are nicely flat on the floor now really feel into that left leg and breathe into that Stay for four more breaths. So the last breath is here. Lift up that left hand to help the left leg coming back to center. I'm going to bring this leg a little bit closer to our chest. So again, make sure that your shoulders are on the floor, opening up to your elbows to the side. Activate that right leg down and bring that leg forward. Now we're really going to open a little bit more the hamstrings. Activate those muscles around your knee and breathe into there. more breath. And the last breath here. And release the strap. Bring that knee into your armpit. Really stretch that knee deeply into the armpit. Push your right leg down, activate those muscles. Bring that knee inside, opening up. Now bend your right leg and place your left ankle on the front. Lift up that right foot and grab the back of your thigh or if you can without lifting up your chin roll the chin down flatten the back you hold on around your shin now your lower back is curled up curl it down curl it down so we're finding this little hollow <sighs> point and flex your feet a couple of times to release the sciatic muscles of the left thigh, the back of the left thigh, opening up. Nice. Now keep the left foot flexed and release the right foot, relax it. Now let's change the leg, right ankle on the left thigh, needle your arms through. Now your coccyx is lifted up, push it down so you have a, a natural curve in your back. You feel the difference in the back of your right thigh. 
if you lift up your coccyx, it's not doing so much. If you push your coccyx down, you're having a, a lot more stretch. So let's point and flex and point and flex. Now keep your right foot flexed and your left foot relaxed. Three more breaths here. And now release. Let's do a little happy baby. Bring both of your hands on your knees and bring the knees on the side of your chest into your armpits. Now, if you can, from the outside, get hold of your heels. If that is impossible, you can also grab your shins, the back of the calves. Now, what is important, you're not rolling up the coccyx. The coccyx is down. And bring those knees beside your chest and into your armpits. So there's a little natural curve in the back, the back of your back, your lumbar. Let's stay here for another five breaths, pressing the knees down. And also if it's more easy for you to go on the inside, but I prefer outside. Soft breathing. The last two breaths here. And bringing your knees towards your chest, hug your chest, maybe roll from side to side a little bit to release. Let's go into um, a spinal release, bringing both of your feet on the floor, your hands on the side, and bring your feet more or less hip width or even more the mat width apart. And just window wide your knees to the left, your right hip is coming up, which is fine. So press that right knee down going to have a nice soa muscle stretch this whole front body is is stretching out which is again very healthy for your back inhale and out to the other side lift that left hip up stretch the front of that left leg the whole front body and to the other side now go into your own rhythm from side to side Your breath is following, always inhale when you're coming up with your knees and exhale when you're twisting to the side. Let's do two more on each side. The right, and now one more time to the left. And the last time to the right. Now, stay on the right side. If it's available for you, lift up that right foot and place it on to your left thigh for a deeper opening. Make sure that both of your shoulders are flat on the mat and that your belly is totally relaxed. Your belly muscles are relaxed. Maybe your arms a little bit more in cactus and breathe. So you're pressing down that left thigh and opening the front muscles, the solar muscles. You have a lot of tightness in there. In the next asana, we will go a little bit deeper into that. Another three breath here. Very gently release that right foot and bring both of your knees 
up center your hips and now let both of your knees lift and fall to the left lift up the left foot and place it on the right thigh and very gently let everything drop down without pushing the weight of the foot will do the rest lift up that left shoulder to release the shoulder so your shoulders are really flat opening those fingers make a point of pinky finger and thumb to the floor ease the tension out of your legs and breathe here for another three breaths. And the last breath here, lifting that left foot away, bring both of your knees up, bring them up to your chest. Now we're going to do some spinal rolls. So place both of your hands, the back of your knees, and this is really good for the spine. We should do them every day. And with the weight of the body going back and forwards, we can really roll. Let's, let's do four or five rolls. So breathing boxes up and go forward. Come back, lifting up the sitting bones. This is core. So now hop, lift, two more. Last one and come up to sitting. Hold on to your knees for a moment and really hug your knees. Okay, let's do some little bit of side body stretches, which is also very, very nice. Make sure that you have blocks near. I like to sit on a small pillow to have a little bit of more height, take the flesh away from the bum and opening the legs to the side. So I'm not sitting on the back of the pillow, I'm really rolling. I'm already naturally my pelvis is already naturally rolling forward so let's open those feet wide the feet are pointing up to the sky we want to activate those muscles here the, the thighs are really pushing down we're going to fall to the side and if you can't go so deep you maybe you want to put a block here or a pillow anything with height to slide on it so bring your left hand on your left hip. First, let's stretch the right side, totally open. And the left arm also. Bring your right hand on your left wrist and pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Now, very, very, very gently, we're going to gently, gently, Roll over to the right. Now your leg muscles really want to help you there. Now if you feel that this is too much tension, you put your hand on the floor or on a block, which is near. Stretch that arm over your side. Open your chest up to the side and breathe. Three more breaths here. Feel the stretch on the left side. Flex those feet. I was forgetting my knee muscles, so push those knee muscles down, activate. The last breath here. And inhale and up. Let's do the last side. Oops, barely pulling out. 
stretch this right arm up. Grab hold of your wrist and stretch it to pull it up. Now there we go. Gently going, 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 going to the side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You feel it's too much on your block or on the floor. Opening the shoulder. Now stretch that arm even more. I really feel it on the side. Don't forget that shoulder, that left shoulder wanted to go up to my ear. No, we're going to roll it away from the ear. And breathe. So don't fall back. Keep it really to the side with another two breaths. Inhale and lift up. Now we're going to go to the other side again, but now a little bit alongside of the leg. Now slide that arm on the inside of your leg. Again, we are not falling forward. We're going to the side. So slide that arm, slide, slide. Activate those legs and lift that arm up and slide and slide and slide. Lift, lift, lift and over maybe you can look up to the sky or maybe it's softer for your neck to look down but keep it keep on stretching in the side body three more breaths we're nearly there Inhale and lift that left arm up and bring it over. We're going to come into a soft twist. So maybe you want to come up first to twist your chest facing your right foot. Use your block if you need it. So it's again this left side who wants to stretch out bring your shoulders down now if you can hold on to the sides of your foot otherwise you just stay here if you feel that you're rounding in your back stay here all good if you want to go forward with the flat back pushing the sacrum down So the last few breaths here, relaxing the neck, elongating the spine. And gently walking back. Let's do the other side. So gently flow with that left hand down on the inside of your leg. Lift up the right arm and gently come over. So this is my bad side. I really feel it pulling in the right side of my back. Doesn't matter. It's good. As long as I activate that right leg and pull it down, push it down, activate those muscles around your knee. You will feel the difference in the back. Hold on, last three breaths here, opening up the chest. Now sweep that right hand gently down. Now we're going to twist over the left leg from a straight back flex both feet activate those legs elongate the back and breathe release the neck a little bit very gently Keep on activating those leg muscles. 
Last two breaths. And gently walk back. Let's do a forward fold, but I really, really would like you to be very careful with the back. It's just opening the hamstring, so we don't have to go so far to do it good. We want to have a, ro a rotation out. The thighs are rolling out. Toes up and very gently we're coming forward. Not with a rounded back, no. Elongate, elongate. Long, long, long. Just going to stay here just for a couple of breaths. And walking your hands back. And we're going to set up for a very soft little back bend. Ideal are two blocks, what can I say? But if you have something else, books, same height, it is fine too. Okay, what is very important is that the block comes just where your shoulder blades are. You will feel it immediately if, if it's in the right place. So we're really going to very gently going to come back, your feet on the floor. Going to roll back, roll back, roll back and see if this is right. Okay, yes, that feels right. And then the other block is for the head, the back of the head. So let's stay here for a moment and feel if you're nicely supported like this. Roll your shoulders open and, oops, pants. And your hands are to the side in cactus. Now this block has to stay straight and stable. It moves a little bit with the movement of my arms. Now what we want, this is really must be comfortable for you. You really feel your whole chest, your heart space opening. And now stretch one leg and stretch the other one. Now you will really feel a release in the lower back with a beautiful natural curve is happening there. Now what we want to do, if this feels good for you, if you can, is lowering where the head is. So we're going to open up the shoulders and the heart space and the sternum a little bit more. Your legs are completely relaxed. I just let the breathing happening around the heart space. You might feel the beautiful relaxation coming around your heart. Breathing in more light and more space. When we invite space in the body, we create space in the mind. So we can soften the body. We can soften the mind. Inviting happy thoughts. I love the word happy thoughts, positive thoughts. Let's stay here for another five breaths. I'm going to experiment a little bit more if I can open my chest space more by taking the block away. So this feels, for me, feels good. Maybe for you it's too much, so you stay with your head in a higher level. I really feel my whole chest opening. Very important that you keep your belly muscles completely relaxed. Now 
another three breaths here. So now that was the last breath and bend both of your knees. Now take the block down which is under your shoulder blades now maybe you're still with your head on a block take that block away too so you can really roll down with your back is flat on the floor now let's bring both of the knees back to the chest for a counter movement nice now we're going to take a block again and this time, we're going to bring it under the sacrum. So lift, place your feet quite close to your buttocks and place the block under your sacrum. Now there are different three heights on this block. You can have it flat. That's, if you're, if you're really very stiff and you can't open your soul muscles so much, you keep it flat, you can bring it on this height and for the pros under us, or the ones who have a really high range, I will show how the higher version goes, is up here. Well, I am not going for the higher version today because I've been nursing a back issue. So I stay on the medium height, which is here. So this little space here, it must feel good. You're supported, your sacrum is supported. Again, a very relaxed abdominals. If this is too little for you, if this is too small for you, you can place two blocks. So you have a little bit of more support. Just, just have a look what, what feels good for you. I like one. So make sure that you're comfortable here. Roll your shoulders a little bit under. Relax your belly muscles of your belly bottom and then stretch your left leg to the front so you will feel tension in your abdominals i to really make a point of it to completely relax that area and then stretch the right leg or any other leg now we're really opening this whole front body and again, come into your breath here and let everything go from here. So your arms are in a sort of a cactus shape. Hand palms are facing up. And now we're very gently going to lift one leg all the way up to the sky. And we stay on the block. We stay with this sacrum lifted. And relax your legs up to the sky. Just let them hover, just let them float. Maybe you feel a little bit of a tingling in your feet. That's good. All the fluids are going down to which your heart stays. Just let them hover and feel the relaxation around your legs. You can do the same with the hands and the arms. Let them face up to the sky. Stay here for another five breaths, very relaxed. You can even make some soft movements. Whatever you feel you want to invite. It circles with your feet and with your hands. 
and the thing that I have some pets in my face. Hi, hey, hey. Mm. We invite animals in our life. It's just, it's for me, it shows me always how authentic they are to just follow their own intuition and um, especially when they're young, fun. Very gently let your arms go down and then your feet. Make sure that you're with your feet flat on the floor. Take away the block. Take one comes down. Open your arms to the side. Stretch one leg and the next leg. And prepare yourself for Shavasana. Maybe you want to put a pillow or a bolster under your knees. Otherwise, you just stay completely flat on the mat. Closing your eyes. And I will gently put a little bit of the music on and you just stay where you are in your Shavasana. do it with my soft voice because the cats have been touching something on the computer. Let everything go. The feet fall to the side. Shoulders are relaxed on the floor. Especially the all tension is gone around your jaws, around your navel. Gently, you're starting to come back towards your body, the outline of your body, feeling your feet, feeling your hands. Inviting some movements. Whenever you're ready, Bring one knee towards your chest and then the next one. Hugging your knees inside. And whenever you are feeling available to roll on one side which is calling you, please do so. And be gentle with yourself when you start to sit up in a cross-legged position. Bring our hands together in front of our heart space and really press those thumbs in your energetic heart, Anahata. Closing your eyes with an erect spine, really feeling the difference, turning inwards and feeling, how do I feel now after this practice? by 
creating the feeling of gratitude. A daily practice of gratitude. Bowing your head with your fingertips. And namaste, my friends. Thank you for being here. So, um, a little note. <laughs> it, this was not meant to be yoga with cats or cat yoga. So, um, if you didn't feel like doing any yoga at all, maybe it's a fun video to watch with cats playing all over my body. It was really funny, but um, I will not repeat it like this. So I'm wishing you all as just a super amazing day full of happy thoughts. Mwah.